Hey you guys, it's your girl Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. I know this is an awkward angle and it's because I am working and making a video at the same damn time. Well, actually it's more like my lunch break. It's been over a month again. I always say I'm gonna come back and be more consistent, but life. I moved into a new place, still loving my new job. And I always say, to myself that you know I'm gonna sit down today I'm gonna make a video but then I'm like oh I don't feel like doing my makeup but I remembered it doesn't matter whether I am dressed up or not so here I am today during my lunch break here to make a video and catch you guys up so in my last video I said I would come back and I would talk about the difference between a connection and an attachment update on that from that last video that was may 2021 i told you guys that i met someone i liked them you know last year i ended a long-term relationship well actually it like ended in december but then you know you do that back and forth thing and then finally finally cut things off whatever that doesn't matter but at some point i decided i was ready to at least put myself out there and try to like go on dates and i realized i'm not a casual dater but this year i was able to meet someone that i actually like and i am now in a new relationship so over a year out of my last relationship i am now in a new relationship and it feels healthy and i love it and it's great but the point of this video once again is to talk about the difference between connection and attachment the difference between a connection and attachment. So the way I would define a an attachment is if it is based on feelings for what was or what it could be. A good example of this is you have been in a relationship with someone for six months or a year. And what's keeping you with this person is how they used to treat you, what your relationship once was. And so in that moment, you're not connected to this person based on the present. You're attached to what they could be or what they once were. Equally so to the point of being attached based on what it could be is staying with someone or continuing to try to get to know or be involved with someone because of what you think they could be or what the relationship could do for you a prime example of that is you see someone's potential you're like oh you know they don't treat me that well right now but i see they do have a kind side to them so maybe if i love them a little more or if i prove to them that i'm worth being vulnerable with they will treat me better in the future like i can get them there or i see this person has potential to make a lot of money i see that they are an upcoming artist and they're growing and you know I see that in them and for that reason like I want to stay close to them that is attachment now connection is in the present connection is more pure connection is more tangible you can see it you can feel it in the present it's not something that you hope for it's not something that you're trying to get again it's right there in front of you and so an example of this is you meet someone you guys hit it off and you guys don't hit it off because of what you think they can be you hit it off because of who they are and who you are you guys are in sync mentally and emotionally you guys have chemistry it's easy to be around them your conversation flows naturally it doesn't feel like a push and pull dynamic you guys just fit that is a connection where it feels natural it feels at home and so for me i think the best way to determine if you are attached to someone versus connected to someone is identifying whether that that relationship feels forced identifying you know whether or not you feel confused in it whether or not you're hanging on to it because of 
uh, what you think could come from it. And going through those questions will help you really identify if you're connected versus attached. And I think all of us just, we know, you know, if you, I won't even say if you click this video, you already know, because you know, for me, I even had to go to my therapist with this new relationship to say like, am I falling into this cycle of attaching myself to something that's not, not good? And it wasn't because it wasn't, it was because I was fearful of becoming attached to a dynamic that was unhealthy for me or the other person. And she helped help me realize that, no, this is a genuine connection. This is, <laughs> an adult relationship and it's a good thing and so if you're here don't feel like oh that automatically means you're attached to someone but i think deep down we all know whether it is truly an attachment versus a connection with someone so once again to summarize if it is an attachment it is based on what you want it to be or based on like what what it once was or what you think it could be the potential of it where a connection is is in the present moment it's what you feel now it feels natural it feels at home it doesn't feel forced so yeah that's all i have for today's video i'm not even gonna say forgive me for looking any kind of way because whatever i still feel like i look great today even not being dressed up and y'all are gonna continue to see me this way because i don't want to feel like i have to like put on a whole show granted sometimes i want to look cute and so i'm gonna look cute but other times like i just want to be in my natural element and like i will say 75 percent of the time i'm like this <laughs> so yeah thank you so much for watching as usual like comment and subscribe hit the post notification bell if you haven't already so you'll be notified the next time i post something since i'm not very consistent and um as usual just once again thank you so much i'll see you next time bye